I did not expect a print to be this pretty and I really enjoy seeing it myself. Hey Brent is beautiful. It is pretty. It always has been. We're Michael and Holof. Together with our German Shepherd Kana. This is for you. Oh. We've been traveling full time around the United States in our camper van. Kana, what you doing? We arrived in Canada to explore the vast land of the Great White North. So come, join us and travel around Canada in our home on wheels. Previously, we did a mushroom hunting expedition just outside Truro, Nova Scotia, where we collected a bunch of chanterelle mushrooms to cook in our van. You know, they say the proof of the pudding's in the tasting. Most people get that saying wrong, by the way. We continue on with our journey in Nova Scotia. Get our fix of the importance. In 500 meters, turn right. So in a couple of kilometers, we're going to be going across what's called the Canso Causeway, which was built to connect the mainland of Nova Scotia to Cape Breton. And just a fun fact, my mother was one of the first people on the causeway on the day it opened, and she played drums in a band, so she was part of the ceremonies. I think it was back in the early 60s or late 50s or something like that. A little bit of family history with the Canso Causeway. And I haven't been here in 30 years plus. So we are now on Cape Breton Island and we are ready to start our day. The sun is shining after a great trip down here. So we're really excited about this. So we have a few days to spend here in Cape Breton and I know for sure that we would love to explore the national park. Cape Breton Island is very proud of Scottish heritage, so we should see pipers and things like that along the way as well, I hope. But the logical way to start our Cape Breton experience here at the Visitor Center, it just opened for tourism recently, so everybody's so excited to welcome tourism. Ready to explore Cape Breton? I am ready to explore Cape Breton. Let's get going. One thing you have to do in Cape Breton Highlands Natural Park is the Cabot Trail. The Cabot Trail is considered one of the most scenic drives in the world. Going through amazing ocean views, old growth forests, and historical Cape Breton fishing villages. What is that? Those are the rubber bands to put around the lobster claws. Oh. Hold them tight. It runs for 298 kilometers or 186 miles. It is absolutely gorgeous here. There's a lot of ups and downs, and I guess now I understand why it's called the Cape Breton Highlands National Park. I'm trying to see whales here. That's the rope whale's mouth. Yeah, that's so, with the teeth so oh wow. Yeah, instead of uh, teeth, big whales like blue whale or uh, fin whale, they'll have this. Any luck? No. But it helps to know what you're looking for, and I'm not. We don't know. It's very hard to see. And right now we're arriving in the Acadian part of Cape Breton. Around here, people speak French, even though the majority of Cape Breton are English-speaking population. And you can see like miles and miles, or in this case, kilometers and kilometers of this rugged coastlines and blue ocean. It's really pretty here. One of these historic Acadian towns is Shetty Camp. Oh, it's just, it used to, it was named after like a couple of guys from up here, you guys want to camp here? He said, no, it's a Shetty Camp. This is where we go for grocery shopping in Shetty Camp. Shetty Camp is not only a great base camp for Cape Breton National Park, but it's also a pleasant town to explore. This is La Boulangerie, a must visit French bakery in Shetty Camp. You can find all sorts of bakery items here. So naturally, we decided to get a few to try. So I got four kinds of scones and get a butter croissant and an apple turnover. Oh la la. I am so happy that you got this because I love scones. Look at the cranberries in there. Mm -hmm. A little butter. Make it very European. No, it's not. Then we get like a Canadian. No, well, maybe. <laughs> You gotta put butter on scones when you got them. Now. Just ruining it. No, I'm not. I'm making it proper. That's delicious. Uh, yeah. Well, I just love cranberries, so This is made by someone who woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning to have these ready for people coming in in the morning, which is wonderful. Yeah. Mmm. 
I'm gonna have half of the apple turnover. Oh, did you hear the crunch? This is what I like about French bakery because they know how to make good products, including apple turnover. Mm, definitely a perfect pastries. This is amazing. It's really good, guys. Mm. We got here just in time because Olive was one of the first people in there, and now there's a line waiting outside. It's definitely a popular spot. Mm -hmm. This is really good. This is what a pouty dog who didn't get any of the bakery items looks like. Kana. <laughs> I want some scones. La boulangerie chez de camp. That was delicious. Yeah. And we have arrived in our boondocking spot for the night and I'm so excited that we're gonna get a beautiful sunset it's not a single cloud in the sky and I think it's gonna be a very gorgeous sunset tonight it's really peaceful here what you doing kind of don't kill bees All right. It's a lot of mosquitoes. Big brother. It's gonna, it's gonna mess up my big brother night. That's only in the past 10 minutes, maybe? I was collecting them. Well, what else are you supposed to do? Throw them out. Disgusting. We know that place well. <laughs> Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Officially made it to Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Cape Breton Highlands National Park is famous for its extensive trail system. There are at least 26 trails to choose from within the park. We're heading to our first trail now for a hike in Cape Breton, and it's beautiful. We're going to do this trail here today, Salmon Pools Trail. It's about six miles long. We're hoping Kana will catch a salmon for us. <laughs> I do want to see salmon, so hopefully we'll see some. Promising. Oh, you got your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Off we go on the Salmon Pool Trail along the Chitty Camp River Valley. Just like the typical weather of Cape Breton, the fog starts to roll in. But we're still enjoying the hike, including some wildlife sightings. Or spool, whatever that is, we're gonna check it out. That's how brown the water is. I think it's the color of the sand on the bottom. The, the water itself is nice. She wants to do a dip just to cool off a little bit. Oh, kinda. Good girl. Oh, you got a first dip. Oh, slippery. Not on me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Good girl, Kana. Still no salmon. No salmon. And she wouldn't know what to look for anyways. <laughs> oh. Oh. Pee Danger, erosion, erosion, just in case you didn't understand the English. I guess not. Sentier fermé. But that's as long as it was anyway, right? That's as long as it's supposed to be. Yeah, I think so. Of course, what's a hike at a national park without learning a little bit more about mushrooms? Mushrooms? Some more of those ghostly looking ones right there. Oh yeah, I wonder what those are. I don't know. There are a lot of mushrooms here. Unfortunately, no matter what we find, it is not allowed to harvest anything here, which I wholeheartedly agree. So when I ask my expert friends about mushrooms, they always want to see the top side of it, the bottom side where the gills are, they want to see the stem, and they want to know the general area you picked it because different mushrooms can look the same. A mushroom growing at the base of a birch tree that looks like a mushroom growing at the base of a spruce tree might not be the same because they grow in different. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you always consult with experts before you get out your frying pan. <laughs> there's also, there's a slug there that seems to be enjoying them. Some kind of cabin. Yep, definitely a cabin. All right, let's see what they have here. Oh, nice. I think this is established just to give a shelter for hikers, especially in the winter months to warm up. Definitely smell like an old cabin building. Looks pretty cozy here and lots of interesting notes to read. Time to settle in for the night at one of Cape Breton National Park's official campgrounds. That's probably good. Yeah. We're home, Kana. Well, good morning from Cape Breton. We survived last night at the Shetty Camp campground here where we spent the night. 
it is a huge complex for a campground, including RVs. So unfortunately today is not the ideal blue sky day. So what's the plan today? We're gonna continue on driving through the national park and there's a few hikes that we would like to check out. Very solemn. Time to do a morning hike. And this time we're exploring Benji's Lake Trail. It's gonna be three kilometers, so just a really light hike just to get blood moving. Okay, Dorothy. That's my <laughs> Highland dance. Oh. God, don't you recognize anything? <laughs> oh yeah, very inspiring, Michael. And the sun is out, so it's a nice walk this morning. There's a few blueberries here. I used to go blueberry picking with my mom every year. Oh, here we go. I can't say I enjoyed it a lot, but we did get a lot of benefit out of it because we ate blueberry jam forever. Wild blueberries. Mm -hmm. They're of course delicious. No moose in Benji Lake. <laughs> I feel like we were lied to. Yeah, yeah we don't have three here, miles this to walk on the way back to dry off. We are at the eastern side of the Cape Breton Highlands National Park and we're gonna do two trails sort of kind of intermingling within each other the Jack Pine Trail and the Coastal Trail and it looks beautiful on the photograph so we are so excited to start the trail Jack Pine Trail, I guess named after Jack Pines Kinda just had a bit of water Let's go, Kana. Coastal Trail. Nice. It's called the Coastal Trail because it comes around, follows the coastline of the National Park. Long pole. This is beautiful. Just look how the water is green there. Yeah. And dark, and the rocks come up through it. That'd be kind of a really cool place to just scuba dive around. There's probably like no real interesting life in there, or there may be lobsters all over the place, who knows? No jumping, no diving, no kidding. Although that would be a lot of fun. No. Yes, it would. Yeah, land it on your head. It's starting to get hot, so it's nice to have a little bit shade in the mid of walking around. Obviously, the background is pretty, so no complaints either to stop to check it out. And we ran into this place, it's called the Black Brook Cove Beach. And this seems to be a public beach and people just hang out here, enjoying the sun, swimming and sunbathing and reading. So we're gonna cool off here. It just seemed to be a very nice cove to chillax. Paulus Jones swimming. So nice. The water is so nice and so refreshing. I can't believe this is Canada. believe I was swimming in Canada. <laughs> the best part about swimming here is that they also have a fresh waterfall to rinse off. I can ask a better way to enjoy our experience here in Cape Breton. Look at that. Yeah. That is a great ending of hiking a hot day followed by swimming then rinse off here in the waterfall. Can't ask a better, better day. We're continuing on with our Cabot Trail Drive. And amongst this mature forest, we have to watch out for moose. Okay, updates. It is unexpected, but we have to take a ferry to get to where we're supposed to be tonight. Who knew? <laughs> and I'm assuming this is a free ferry. Yeah. I have no idea until about two minutes ago that we have to be <laughs> on the ferry. looking at Google Maps going, holy crap, Why does we have to take a ferry. <laughs> It's interesting. <laughs> okay, so we're going from here to there with a the ferry. Why don't they just build a road or a bridge or something? There's probably like a delicate ecosystem and they can't build a bridge across it or something, I would imagine. I don't know. And I assume we're not getting out? Nope. You can't see the other end. As you can imagine, 
it was a very short ferry ride across the channel. Well, specially built cigarette holders. Google thinks we are still driving. Well, we arrive in English town, I guess. <laughs> Just like two minutes later. Hey, a turn. Yay. Woohoo! English town. Here we come. Soon enough, we approach the end of the Cabot Trail to our final destination where we'll spend the day. The town of North Sydney, Cape Breton. Well, that is it for our time here in Cape Breton. I'm kind of sad that we're leaving. Wow, I did not expect Cape Breton to be this pretty and I really enjoy seeing it myself. Normally when I come over here when I was a kid, we'd go right through Cape Breton just to get to Nova Scotia or New Brunswick and then on the way back to Newfoundland. So it was my first time ever going on the Cabot Trail, doing the whole Cabot Trail. It was amazing. It's no wonder it's listed as one of the top highway drives in the world. Highly recommended, guys. But tomorrow, we are getting on a boat and going somewhere else. We are going to... Newfoundland, yeah, Canada! Yeah, that's my home province. That's where I was born. I haven't been back there since the late 80s, really. But I'm really looking forward to getting back there, seeing some friends, and checking out how things have changed in the 30 years since I left. If you like this video, please give a like. And if you want to follow our adventures around Canada and the US, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications every time we post something new, hit the bell. Thank you very much for watching. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. So we are here at the Petite et Tong, I think it's called. What is it called? Camping out at the Petite Chump. What is it called? Jeez. Um, Look at this. Only a yay big channel. How big is yay? Authentic French bakery. Uh, oh, low calorie white bread. Why'd you buy low calorie white bread? Low calorie? Low price. $1.50. Yeah, Canadian, that's like 75 cents US. No, it's